you have a child or maybe two and they have interest in art but you don't know how to support them this video is all about how you can support your child's interest in art and while doing that how can you improve their artistic skills this is Ejo Gurlar. I did my master's degree in UMass Boston in creative and critical thinking. I'm a full-time artist, YouTuber, and artist coach. And if you like my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing I want to tell you about how to support your children in art is to nurture their creativity. Children like to use their five senses. This is how they learn and this is how they explore their creativity. For example, they can watch you cook, they can watch maybe your husband building something, they can go to a zoo and pet animals and they can feel them. They like to look at the clouds and the stars and they can see shapes in them. This is creativity all around you. This is what we need to look when we are with our kid outside and we see them observing, we should be observing with them and maybe showing them what we see so that they can see it too. Creativity starts with our own surrounding. Number two is providing them with art materials. Of course, it might take a while to see what they actually like, what they don't like, but to start with some pencils, crayons, oil pastels would be a good idea. They also love creating mini sculptures with clays or even playing with clay definitely that could be a good option too if it's not toxic for kids while buying art materials for your kids remember that you don't need expensive ones once they start to get older maybe about seven eight nine years old then you can start buying good quality paper or paint what i observe is that small children especially like pastels or crayons because they are easy to grab and you know they can grasp firmly and this is why they can actually make colorful and big pictures with pencils though because it's hard to hold it for their little hands they start to draw very little things their world gets much more limited that's why I prefer crayons or oil pastels because it has so many colors and also they can draw big. Their creativity gets bigger with space. After we talked about materials, I think it's a good idea to talk about the art environment. We need to have a space in our house, preferably in their room, an art room or art area or art environment where they can go free and they can create whatever they want. They can go messy. Everything about that area will be about art. You can hang some postcards or you can hang some other photos or pictures to inspire them. As they finish their artwork, they can hang on the wall or on the area. You can cover the wall with paper so that they can paint on the wall. And if you're okay with your kid painting on the wall, you can just let them do it. I said they can get messy and that's okay, but as they grow older, we need to teach them that their art is valuable and their materials are valuable. So they need to keep them organized. They have to keep them, let's say, in a file or on the shelf so that we can teach them how to keep them tidy. This will teach them self-worth as well. Some of these tips are coming from Shelly Thomas, who works with children and who is very knowledgeable about this topic. Let them experiment. If they do watercolor and if they want to do oil pastel on top of that, let them do it. If they're going out of norms, that's fine. They're children. They are very creative. Let them do what they think is more fun and more creative. Don't be critical of their work. For example, if they paint the sun in blue, don't tell them like why this sun is blue or this, this is nonsense. This tree needs to be green, but you painted it red. You shouldn't criticize like these. We should let them be free make art with your children it's important to sit down with them and make art together while talking about random stuff not about what you're painting or not commenting each other but it's more like about maybe your child's day or 
how the day went, just random things that you can think about. Also, when you want to give praise, try to avoid the general phrases like this looks awesome or you did a good job but you can specify such as hmm I like how you painted those clouds in this way or I like how you blended those colors there like that and Shelley Thomas says that after they finish ask them are you proud and if they want to walk out and then they're done with the painting don't call them back don't tell them to perfect it because that's your way of perfection if they are done they are done visit art museums galleries and exhibitions especially interactive ones if your child is a small child then it's a perfect way to experiment and see things as i said children like the sense like to use their five senses when they're exploring things if they are about seven years old then the exhibitions that adults go to could be still a perfect place for them to be exposed to art and the work of great artists. Of course, we don't expect them to understand the style of the artist or the art movement, but try to encourage them to speak and say what they think or what they see, what they like in that specific art piece. Sign them up for art classes and workshops. If you have the budget, send your kid to these workshops so that they can learn a new skill and they will be with like-minded people if you don't have this opportunity maybe you can get together with your friends who have kids and the kids can have a painting party or drawing party while the adults talk their adult stuff sometimes i feel like parents don't explain much to children and try to avoid the conversation because maybe it's too hard to explain to a child but if we try hard actually we can maybe with simple words uh, some words that they can understand but we avoid this for some reason but if we don't run away and talk to our kids about some basic things that they are curious about then their curiosity is being fed and they feel like a part of an adult life and part of their parents life and that makes them feel more fulfilled and even more curious Shelley Thomas says, children are endlessly curious and are empowered when they are armed with knowledge usually reserved for adults. Let them incorporate art in their daily life. How? Maybe they want to design their own clothes or maybe they cut things out and make a journal out of it. Just let them do that artistic stuff and ask them questions about them and praise them. This brings me to another point, especially my generation, I'm generation Y. We feel that our parents were not really proud of us for some reason, or we didn't feel that way. I'm sure they were, but we didn't feel it. And this generation who has kids right now could focus on this. Show your children that you're proud. For example, when your guests or your relatives come to your house, you can show the paintings your children made, or you can talk about the artistic crafty stuff that they made this makes kids so happy and so motivated follow your child's lead if they support a specific interest in one area just support them for example you want them to maybe paint but they're interested in let's say sculpture like dealing with clay or play-dohs then just don't force your child to be like you. Let them be. Another thing is that some children are not interested in art or they might get bored of it very easily and not come back to it for maybe even years. And that's fine. Some kids are more interested in music. Some kids are more interested in sports. That's okay. Follow your kid's lead. And finally, create opportunities for them to show their artwork. It can be maybe mini exhibition at your home. You can invite neighbors or uh, your friends, or it can be, let's say, framed artwork. We can frame their art and hang it in our living room or dining room. On social media, we can share it and show this to our kid. Look, you know, I shared your art. You know, this kind of encouragement will work wonders on your kid's motivation. I would like to finish with a very famous Picasso quote. 
It took me four years to paint like Raphael, but it took me a lifetime to paint like a child. Probably children are the most creative creatures, creative creatures on earth. <laughs> How about you? How about your interest in art? If you're a beginner in art, maybe this video can be a good start for you.